Well, howdy. I played Portal recently and I decided that I definitely have to tell you about the splendid and at the same time sketchy game. Portal is a puzzle game made by Valve in 2007. Like, what the fuck? I was around 4 years old back then. Dude, it cut? Oh! Shit! This is a really short game that you can complete in even one hour, like I did. Nah, I'm not showing enough at all. But because of that shortness and reuse of textures from Half-Life, the feeling is created that this game is a kind of draft. But nonetheless, Portal is still a genius game and I'm about to tell you why. Maybe I'm mistaken, but for me, it seems like Portal was one of the first puzzle games that was really engaging to play. Playing Portal and solving puzzles don't seem like hard work and something that doesn't bring pleasure. On the contrary, it feels so good when you solve another puzzle and enter the lift to the next test room. Even though the game is short, this is the main reason for the game not being boring. There are only 19 test rooms and each of them is completely unique and does not feel the same as the previous one. And of course the Portal gun. The gun that allows you to create your own portals in order to solve some puzzles. You know, this gun's possibilities of using are so volatile that you literally find something new every single second. Like, I can jump like a damn kangaroo. I can be stuck in an infinite cycle of the time. Whoa. Is anyone here? And I can even use portals to see myself. Oh look, it's me there! So basically I don't have anything dreadful to say about the gameplay in Portal, I liked it and I think you'll like it too. Playing Portal feels like not knowing what truly is going on. You're in a big ass facility that studies portals but there's not a single human being. Everything looks odd and even rooms for some reason are full of toxic water and different kinds of defects. You know that something is going wrong, but it's all hidden from you until the end part of the game. And that's great, because during the game you wonder about your character. By the way, her name is Chell. You want to know more about this facility, named Aperture Science. And of course you want to escape this horrific place. Also due to disorders in test rooms, you may find some writings left by someone. He says that the cake that Gladys promised you to give at the end of your challenge is a lie. He also asks for help and counts days for some reason. It confirms our assumptions that something goes wrong here. At the end of the game you finally come across the room where Gladys is. She tells the truth about this facility. She killed the whole staff with neurotoxin and began a permanent testing cycle using people like you. And this is so terrifying when realizing that you and this big robot are roughly speaking the only ones in the whole facility. Then you find out that Gladys is fitted with different cores, such as morality core that should have made the Gladys innocent, the intelligence core that makes Gladys being super smart and so on. Eventually you destroy all of them and the game ends here. Also, at the end of the cutscene, you can see that you're being dragged back into the facility, hinting at the sequel. I said in the beginning that the game feels sketchy, and that's true. Portal is tightly tied with the Half-Life universe, because basically both of them share the same universe. But despite this, the game feels a little bit raw. Like, yeah, it is a new game, but it uses the same engine, the same assets pack, and in general the game seems like being a test game not made with the aim of becoming a pop franchise, but nonetheless, it managed to become a legendary game that people play even nowadays, just because the simpleness of the game is really awesome. Is this evening tedious and tiresome? Well, this is the perfect time to play Portal. Because of its short length, it is a great pleasure to complete it in one sitting after a hard day at work, school or maybe even kindergarten. Portal will enrich your completely games collection and will definitely make your evening more colorful. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget that game is a lie. Also don't incinerate the cube. See you in another one. I'm doing science and I'm still alive.